Y'all, it has been 10 years since I have consistently posted here on this YouTube channel and six years, I believe, since I posted my last video and I am so excited to be back. So for the last six or so months, I have just been really thinking about and praying about starting my YouTube channel back up again, which is crazy. Um, but I didn't want to do that without first giving a life update because my life is a billion percent different than it was 10 years ago, much like you were, I'm sure as well. And so, yeah, I just wanted to talk about the last 10 years and then also share uh, kind of the future of this channel. So if you're a subscriber seeing this video, you may remember me posting videos about minimalism and simple living and faith and doing online Bible studies and things like that. Um, I still plan to post videos with that same content. Um, my views on those things have not changed. In fact, I think they've gotten stronger. However, I am going to be sharing those things from a completely different background and perspective because when I was making videos 10 years ago, I was single, I was in college, and then starting out my teaching career, and now I am married, and I have a three-year-old little boy, and I'm a stay-at-home mom, and so a lot has changed, and so let's dive into what the past 10 years have been like. So when I last posted, I was in the middle of my teaching career, so back up to 2020, right before the pandemic, I started dating my now husband. His name is Keaton. I'm hoping I can add some photos here. <laughs> I haven't edited a video in 10 years, so I hopefully I can do that. So Keaton and I grew up at church together. We went to the same high school and everything. And honestly, I liked him for 10 years before he asked me out. So if you are watching this and you are waiting for your future husband, um, sometimes it takes 10 years for them to finally, <laughs> for the scales to fall from their eyes and them to realize, oh, okay, maybe we should try going on a date. So anyway, we started dating in December 2019. He was living in California, going to seminary and helping plan a church. I was still here in Nashville. Um teaching and then COVID hit. And as you know, the world turned upside down. It was madness, but honestly, it kind of worked out really well for me because um, Keaton's classes shut down. He ended up losing his job because the cafe shut down, which are horrible things. But because of that, he was able to move back home to Nashville. And it was amazing because we had like three months during shutdown to um, just really get to spend time with each other, get to know each other more because we've been dating long distance. And so, um, anyway, so we got engaged in July, 2020 and then married. So here's a wedding photo, if I can put that there. And then very shortly after we found out we were pregnant with our little boy named Ryman. And so if you're from the Nashville area, that name probably sounds familiar to you. We named him after the Ryman Auditorium, which is super um, famous in country music, but also because we really love the story of Tom Ryman and how he used um, his life to help spread the gospel. So that brings us to here today. Um, so I'm not teaching anymore. Once I had Ryman, I left my teaching career and I am staying home with my little boy and absolutely loving it. But I do have a little nap time hustle <laughs> that I run alongside my husband. Actually, it's mostly my husband's side hustle. Um, it is a non-toxic candle business that we started um, not too long after Ryman was born because if you are a single income family, you know how hard it is <laughs> to live off of one income in the economy today. And so we had to figure out a way to bring in extra money um, aside from just my husband's full-time income. So Candles by a Dad was born. And so my husband and I um, make non-toxic candles um, and we sell them online. We set up every week at our town's farmer's market um, and we're in about 10 stores. And so that has been so much fun. Um, if you wanna check out our candles, I'll have a link in the description to that website. 
um, and also to the Candles by a Dad Instagram page if you want to um, just kind of keep up with what we're doing. And especially if you love candles, check it out. So yeah, that is a very quick update of my life over <laughs> the past 10 years. Like I said, if you are a subscriber, I didn't want to just jump in into making um, a video about minimalism or something like that without being like, oh, I'm back. Here's an update first. So if you stuck around to the end of this video, thank you so much. It means a lot to me. And um, if you remember my videos from 10 years ago and you watch them, I would love to hear from you if you wanted to leave a comment down below um, and just let me know what you're up to in life because I would love to know and I'd love to reconnect with y'all and just kind of rebuild this community here on my YouTube channel. So yeah, going forward, you can expect to see very similar videos to what I used to post. So things about faith and just Christian living, um, homemaking now that I'm married and have a kid. So I guess that's different than what I did 10 years ago. And to have some stay at home mom weekly vlogs going up and just videos about living a simple and intentional life. So Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you in my next video.